Hello. Hi, Laura. How are you? Hi, Elizabeth. Um, we're making, I, well, we're, I'm making bandanas. Um, they're smaller silk bandanas, 21 by 21, same size as cotton bandanas. Um, I don't make curtains myself um, because they require a very large tray. Um, I'm sure it can be done, but I can't say I've actually seen them done. So, hello, hello. Thanks for joining me. Sorry, it's harder to get my face in here when I'm trying to have you zoomed in on the smaller tray. How's everybody doing today? Just thought I'd jump on while I'm making some bandanas this afternoon. Kind of replenishing my website. Hello, hello. Oh, hi Katie, or is it Casey? I'm sorry, it went by so fast. Um, yeah, I'm just kind of having fun playing with the paints and designs. I don't really have um, too much of a plan in mind, kind of just going with the flow. I have a few ideas. So I like to kind of show a variety. So this um, color combination was really well liked the other day. Um, I do make tulips. Um, that is a flower I can do. I can do a lot of different flowers. So yes, this is a smaller tub. Um, it's for making bandanas. As you can probably see, this is wider than my long tray. So I wish I could make bandanas in my big long tray, but it's just not wide enough. So this kind of works well. Oh, how do you place a custom order? Um, if you go on my website, blueivymarbling at gmail.com. No, I'm sorry, that's my email, blueivymarbling.com. Um, if you go under shop scarves or shop bandanas, you'll see a listing for custom. And there um, you can see the options for colors and designs. And the ones that I'm creating this afternoon that you'll see uh, uh, will be available. So if you're interested in a particular one, you can message me at blueivymarbling at gmail.com. So again, these are 100% silk bandanas that are the same size as cotton bandanas. So I am ready to lay this down. These can be used, um, you can tie them in your hair like around your head or in, you know, ponytail. Um, you could also use it as a bracelet, um, tie it on your purse or backpack. A lot of different ways to use them. Should get this laid down carefully. Okay. 
So how's everybody doing this afternoon? Trying to catch some of your questions. Um, oh, hi, Jen. Thank you so much. Yes, isn't the frame? This is so great. I saw another marbler um, do this years ago, and it was kind of life-changing for me. So um, it's just PVC pipe. And then I have some rubber bands tied to the corners with these little metal clips that um, hold the corner of the scarves. Um, so yes, it works great. Cause then I don't have to have somebody else at home helping me lay it down. Oh, the tutorial option. Yes, I've had many people um, take the course that I created. It walks you through every little step that you need to learn to be able to do the marbling process because um, there's a lot of different steps from um, creating the thickened water to prepping whatever material you're going to marble, um, preparing paints, um, and I also just share all the little tips and tricks that I've learned over the years. Um, because a lot of this whole process is trial and error. Um, so I share everything that I've learned to make the process easier for others. But it is a lot of fun. Well, thanks for joining me this afternoon. How is everybody? Just having a little fun painting here. So I just, um, I put some paper towels in my little metal clips just so uh, paint doesn't get on the next item that I hook onto here. All right, so just getting a little color on the edges here. So I'm trying to, trying to see some of your questions as I go along here. Oh, three days in a row, awesome. <laughs> That's great, I love that. I know, I'm trying to get on as much as I possibly can. Where are the boards uh, with nails? I made those. So, there we go. So these are 21 by 21, same size as a cotton bandana. And they are 100% silk and they are hand washable. So I'll show you this. Show this to you after I give it just a quick rinse. And they can be uh, rinsed with a little mild detergent. So, and I do have several bandanas. You, if you go on, you'll see I don't have a ton of bandanas on there right now because um, they all got bought out. So I'm working on replenishing. Oh, sorry, my music just stopped. Oh, thank you for the heart. Yeah, so. This is number one, if anybody's interested. Thank you, Rhonda. Hello, hello. Okay, so I'm gonna let that soak a bit while we do another one. I'm gonna see why my music stopped. There we go. So just getting the top cleaned off here. If you ever have, oh, somebody's answering questions. Thank you so much, Jennifer. Yes, I learned this from a woman in Chicago that was teaching classes. Um, 
This is an ancient Turkish art form called Ebru. Um, and it's floating paints on water. I learned from a traditional uh, master Ebru artist. So as you can see, there's still a little bit of paint on the surface. Um, so I gotta make sure all of that is off so it doesn't get on the next one. Thank you so much for OIC Sunflowers. Oh, Jennifer, thank you so much. You're awesome helping answer questions. Thank you, thank you. Oh, thank you, Joy. You guys are so awesome. Oh, thank you for the compliment, Gail. Okay, you can see there's just a tiny bit left on there. So just one more and that'll do it. Thank you for those that are helping me answer questions. You guys are so wonderful. Um, what are we doing, Chelsea? We are um, painting on water here. This is water marbling. Floating acrylic paints on um, a tray of thickened water. Jennifer makes me so happy to see you answer questions. Thank you because it's hard for me to keep painting and um, these, and to be reading all the questions, so. Uh, do the colors run when you wash it by hand? No, they don't. You can, um, the paints are set into the scarf when it touches the water, and so they can be hand washed with a mild detergent like wool light. So I'm gonna do a color combo, another one that was really liked that I did the other day. So we're gonna try it again. And these are artist quality acrylic paints. And if there's any questions that don't get answered, um, you can always feel free to message me at blueivymarbling at gmail.com. So I have a website where I create products um, like long silk scarves, these silk bandanas. I also do leather earrings, cuffs, and wallets. Uh, I love marbled leather. And then I also like to teach this. Um, so I'll do live Zoom classes and I have a course I created. So that's just kind of what I do with this in a nutshell. And then I just love sharing it. So um, my husband and I come on every Monday and Thursday at seven central. And it's fun because he helps answer questions and um, we usually have a fun question of the night and so we have a lot of fun. And we have a great following of people that are just wonderful that participate. So if you're looking for just a fun, relaxing hour, uh, make sure you check us out then.
Hello, Tina. Oh, it's swirled together hearts. Yeah, I like that. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and put some hearts in here. So the great thing about this art form is the possibilities are just endless. Every single piece you create is one of a kind because you can't duplicate the paints that are dropped on the water, like the amount in the exact same place. So um, it just never gets boring. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and go for this one. Gonna take me one second to get my um, silk connected to my PVC pipe here. This part is a little trickier with just <laughs> one set of hands. There we go. I don't know why my music wants to stop. Oh, thank you. I'll try to catch some of your questions now. If I didn't have it attached, no, it would not sink. Um, it's just the uh, paper or silk or whatever you're marbling has to be laid down in one continuous motion um, because if like you stop it all um, and it doesn't doesn't just go down like nice and flat then the design will get messed up but you can even see now as I'm detaching it it's floating on top of the water and that's how it is for the like leather or paper also Oh, hi, Vicki. No, I haven't tried strawberries yet. Let's see, can I lay a second over the top? No, um, you can only make one item each time you lay the paints down. You'll see there'll be a little bit of paint left over, um, but if I were to lay something down on that, then it would just be super light because there's really not a lot of paint that gets left on the water but because most of it is just transferred into the silk. <laughs> no ladybugs, I have not tried ladybugs. I don't, I don't think they would show up too well. Not many images that can be done. So um, I can do flowers, hearts, circles, like vines. I can do kind of a butterfly, brown, white, and tan. Oh yes, I can do brown, white, and tan. There we go. So these colors were really like yesterday, so I thought I would try it again. All right, I'm gonna give this a quick rinse and then I'll show it to you. Oh, 
Oh, yeah, somebody asked what it is. It is a uh, silk. They're 100% um, silk. They're 21 by 21. So I just let it soak a little bit longer and then I hang it to air dry and iron it and it's ready to be used. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you, Anne. And I apologize for, you know, when I don't, I've got a couple of really sweet people that are helping answer questions, but I can't catch them when I'm actually painting. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do one with neutrals this time. And I'll show you a different design. All right, that is clean. Oh, Ashley, that's really sweet of you. How do I make, oh, how do I empty the tray? Um, I literally just, dump it into a five gallon bucket. Um, let's see, I'm gonna think about what I'm gonna do here. All right, somebody asked me to do brown, white, and tan, and oh, where do you get the carrageenan? Um, all different kinds of places. Um, I, I sell some carrageenan myself. Um, I'm trying to think. There's like, as long as you just make sure you get pure Lambda carrageenan, then it will work. I wish I could do a cow print, but that's hard to pull off with this because of the way the paints move. Sometimes people say that it looks like a giraffe. going to be a little more on the neutral, softer side. This is the Long Hearts design.
trying to catch some of your comments as I go here. Kind of liking this at this stage. Uh, the bandanas are 25, custom are 35. So I think I'm gonna stop at this step just to show you a different design. So one second while I grab my silk here. So it's a little tricky just making sure I have it centered just right so I don't mess it up. People ask, can you mess it up? Well, this is one way you can mess it up if you don't lay it down just right. It looks like chocolate caramel. <laughs> it does. <laughs> it does. So this kind of shows you that you can either go like super bright and colorful and bold, or it can be a little softer, more neutral. You could do lots of colors, or you can do just a few and keep it simple. Let's see, um, does it always have to be white? Um, I only work with white fabric. I haven't, I've tried black a couple of times and it didn't work. You could, the paints just didn't show up on it. Um, and most of the marblers that I've seen all do white. So I don't know if there's anybody out there that can get it to work on color. Just getting a little color on the edges here. Let's see, I'm sorry I'm missing all your requests. Let's see, yellow, pink, and blue, that would be pretty. I'm not sure if I have enough, I might have enough yellow. I can try that one. Okay, there we go. Yeah, this one's uh, more on the neutral side. So giving it a rinse just gets off that excess liquid and um, any excess paint. And then I just let them soak for a little bit just to kind of soften back up, hang it to air dry. They can be ironed to be smoothed out. So I'm trying to open this up here so I can kind of show it to you. Uh, 
There we go. So I just let it soak just a little bit more. Okay, I said I would do blue, yellow, and pink next. And I'll do um I'll do a different design that I haven't done yet. How does the paint set so quickly? The um, silk has been pre-treated in alum, and that is what helps. Um, it's it's a fixant or mordant is called, and it helps the silk soak the paint right in, and it instantly sets. So that's why it doesn't smear when I rinse it off. So the surface has to be completely clean so that any leftover doesn't get on the next one. So see, now it's pretty clean. It where's my assistant? I know my assistant is, he's working. So it's so much easier when he's here, but I've got some wonderful helpers on here today. So um, recycling, I use recycled paper um, because you have to use um, something that's dry in order to remove uh, the paint that's on the surface. It cannot be wet. So that's why I feel better about using recycled paper. Thank you, Jennifer. Thank you so much for answering questions for me. Uh, what kind of ink? These are artist quality acrylic paints. And I do use a lot of heavy bodies, so sometimes they kind of thicken up at the top. Kind of low on my yellow, so it's making uh, making some bubbles. Let's see, why do some of the colors spread like the pink and yellow, but the red seem to shrink? That's actually hot pink, and that's because the surface, a couple of reasons, the surface is getting full, and then also um, some paints are thinner and they are just like stronger and open more, while others are thicker and stay a little more condensed.
So I'm gonna show you the peacock or bouquet design. So this one I call the long heart. This one is the zigzag. This one is scallops. The TikTok viewers named that one. I'm gonna pop a couple of bubbles here. Okay, there's one little spot here I want to fix. Actually, two little spots. <laughs> So this is a double rake. So it makes a really pretty design that's traditionally called peacock or bouquet. Okay, I'm going to grab our silk here. Alright, just give me one second while I get this set up. So all of these, unless somebody claims it ahead of time, all the ones that I've been making this afternoon will be up on the website tomorrow. So I should have about 20 new ones listed tomorrow. They're all one of a kind. But a lot of times if you see one that you really like and then it's sold, I can create one that's similar. So it'll be the same colors and design, but it'll just be a little different. Okay, one second here. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you.
So if you ever have questions, you can message me, blueivymarbling at gmail.com. The website is blueivymarbling.com. And you can catch um, my husband and I on Mondays and Thursdays at 7 Central. He helps me by reading everybody's questions, and we have a lot of fun. So I paint well. he tries to answer everybody's questions. Oh, thank you, Jennifer. Yes, this is a bandana. It's um, 21 by 21, so it's 100% silk, but it's the same size as a regular cotton bandana. So just getting a little paint on the edges here. All right, so this is the peacock or bouquet design. This is one of my favorites. It's um, a traditional design with this art form. Which, just to give you a little history, this is um, called Ebru, E-B-R-U. It's painting on water. It's a Turkish art form that dates back to, they say around the 12 to 1300s. Um, it didn't come to the U.S. until the early 70s. Um, but I learned, oh, thank you, Amy. I learned this from a uh, woman that was from Turkey. She taught me the traditional way of doing this art form. So this was colors that somebody on here had requested, um, blue, pinks, and yellow. So I just let them soak a little bit longer. I'm going to do one more here this afternoon, and I will try to jump on again tomorrow afternoon. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, sometime I can do one um, that's like night sky. I could definitely do that. I can also do sunset colors. So I've got a plan for this one last one that I want to do because I want to show you a bit of a different design. So yeah, that peacock bouquet design is one of my absolute favorites. And that done with peacock colors is so fun. So I will remember your suggestions. Oh yes, Jennifer, thank you. Yes, I've done the Van Gogh's Starry Night a lot. That one has been really popular. So I'm gonna do one more swipe here. So I'm gonna remember your suggestions for when I pop on again, hopefully tomorrow. been trying to jump on in the afternoons. Okay, so I'm wanting to do one that's um, kind of similar to the one that you see in the back, but this will be a bandana size instead of the long one because I've had a lot of people asking about that one.
Okay, ready to lay this one down. So I'm grabbing my silk here, just one second. Hello, hello. So this is my last one for this afternoon. Um, but I'm planning on being back on tomorrow afternoon. So I'll show you how this one turned out. Jennifer, thank you so much for answering so many questions for me. I'm so grateful. All right, so I'm gonna show you this one to you in one second here. Just have to get it unclipped. So I love, this is one of my favorite designs too, because it's combining um, several different steps and um, several different designs at the same time. need to grab a pair of gloves because mine got all wet. Well, thank you all for jumping on this afternoon and thank you, Jennifer, and those that have been helping answer questions. I know Joy was answering some before, so thank you so much for helping me. I've been trying to jump on every day during the week, but again, my husband and I come on on Mondays and Thursdays, 7 Central. So this is super fun. I love this design. A lot of detail to it. So if you have any questions, you can message me, blueivymarbling at gmail.com. And my website is blueivymarbling.com. I'm going to have a bunch of bandanas listed over the next couple days. Um, I was getting kind of low on stuff, so, and they're, every piece is one of a kind, so, um, so it takes a lot. Every single one is individually done. So there we go, the last one for this afternoon. So those will get hung to dry and then ironed and ready to go. Thank you so much, Joy. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Jennifer. You guys are awesome. Such a, like, really a huge help. So, um, yeah, it looks like bubbles. It does. So, sorry, I'm letting my face get cut off. 
But thanks again, everybody. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Well, you guys have a great rest of your day and I will see you tomorrow afternoon. All right. Thanks again.